Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to share five handy hidden gem tips inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first one has to do with adjusting the speed of your clip. One of the tools you have in the toolbar is simply the rate stretch tool, and this allows you to drag and stretch your clip in or out just by dragging the ends. However, sometimes you might need an exact specific amount. And if you right click your clip and go to speed duration, here's where you can also choose like I want it to be 200% faster, so twice as fast, 300%. But if you ever want to get an exact time, you can always click on the duration section. And let's say I wanted this to be a 10 second sped up clip, because this can be kind of hard to do the math on 300.26%. It's hard to figure out, but if you can just actually set the time to whatever you want. So 10 seconds, five seconds, whatever I want, it'll automatically speed it up the exact right percentage. And I can press OK and we'll see we've taken our clip and turned it into a five second sped up thing. The next handy tip that you might not know is if you ever right click your clip, you can apply default transitions. Now that's not the tip. We That's pretty common standard knowledge. However, another way that you can do that, especially if I wanted to apply a crossfade in between all of these clips, sometimes when you're doing slideshows, you might need to do that, is if I highlight however many of them I want, and then just simply press Command D. That will apply the default transition onto the clip. And you can see it applied that onto in between every single clip. We've gotten that default crossfade. And another tip is not only do you have to do uh, the default crossfade, if you open up your video transitions in the effects panel, you can always right click and set any transition as your default. So if for some reason you wanted to do a right push on every single effect you can right click and set that as default and then when i go and do the command d default transition now we just get right pushes over and over and over so that's a really useful way especially when working with like photo slideshows to just apply the same dissolve between everything but i'm just gonna right click and set that cross dissolve back to default back to normal Another thing that has to do with defaults is if I am ever working with a photo file and I drag it out to the timeline, you'll see that by default, if I go to the info tab, these are five seconds long. But if you ever go to Premiere Pro and go to preferences and go to timeline, you can actually change a lot of things about the defaults. So if I know that I never want five second still photos and I'm just going to be trimming them down to one second anyway, because I'm building some kind of slideshow. I can just set that as the default here so I don't have to worry about it. And likewise, you can set the default transition duration as well from how many frames it takes or not. So if I know I want a long cross dissolve in between instead of this short one that naturally happens, I can set it to be 100 frames or however many frames that I want. Now that's just one little tip that's hidden in here, but within your preferences, you have all types of things you can change. like clip label colors and appearance of your software, all the way to even just going to your keyboard shortcuts and you can set keyboard shortcuts to whatever you want really, or just take a look at what all the keyboard shortcuts are here. Now, another useful one is, let's say I did want to copy this clip over a couple times. I can always copy com command C and paste it or right click, copy, and then paste. However, a really useful and easy way to copy and paste things or duplicate is by holding Option and dragging a clip. Simply by holding Option and dragging a clip, you'll be able to create copies out of it. And this also works if I have multiple clips highlighted, I can duplicate the whole selection. Lastly, if we ever highlight everything together and right click it, we know about the concept of nested sequences, hopefully. You can nest everything together and it'll all be one long sequence that we can now move around and edit with ease. And that'll also show up in our project media bin. But if you ever double click on the nested sequence, here's where you can find everything within it again, in case you wanted to edit something out or change the effects on one certain clip, you can go into that nested sequence and find it. And a lot of people say, how do I get my nest? How do I unnest? So the hidden tip here is either you can go into it, copy and paste them all out, or you can simply drag your nested sequence back onto your original sequence over top and it will 
in effect unnest itself. Finally, as a bonus tip, even though we've already done five, is if you're ever in the program window and you wanna take a quick screenshot of your image, let's say I wanted to make this the thumbnail of the video, if I click this little export frame icon or press shift and E together, I can export a still frame JPEG onto wherever I want in the desktop and import it back into the project right away or wherever. So I can name it whatever, save it as a JPEG or PNG, press OK, and now you'll see it'll be on my desktop as well as in my project so I can work with this still frame in some way. So that's five or six, even maybe a little more tips and hidden gems in Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out some of my other tutorials on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.